Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadjax, and today I'm going to be showing you some of the new features that Siri has on iOS 9. Alright, so the first feature I'm going to be showing you guys is that you can now use Siri to find photos taken in a specific location or on a specific date. So let's say I want to find photos that I took at the Natural History Museum. They were shot in Exposition Park, so I can ask Siri to find those photos for me. Find photos from Exposition Park. And now you can see that it quickly found all the photos taken at Exposition Park. So here are the ones at the Natural History Museum. I also took some shots at FYF, which was also in the same area. So those also show up photos and videos. Not only that, but you can also ask Siri to find photos taken on a specific date. So let's say I want to find photos from January 6th of this year. Find photos from January 6th, 2015. And it finds all the photos taken on that day. And I knew there were going to be photos that I had taken that day. And here they are. All right, so the next feature is setting up contextual reminders using Siri. Okay, so let's say I'm in Safari and I want to get reminded of this article. So all I have to do is hold down on Siri. Remind me of this at 4 p.m. And here you can see that it's a reminder for that article. So it knew that I was on the article and it's going to remind me at 4 p.m. to get back to it. You can also use that in the Mail app and also in the Notes app. So if I go in the Notes app, I can even ask Siri to remind me of the notes when I get home. So it uses location services. Right now, we're currently on beta of iOS 9, so not all of the features work, and this is one of them. So if I ask, remind me of this when I get home. It'll ask me to enable location services for reminders, and if I do, it goes back and it doesn't work. So. This will work when iOS 9 comes out uh, to the general public. A new feature in Maps now allows you to get transit directions. So you can use Siri to ask for these directions. Give me transit directions from the San Francisco Zoo to Oakland. And here you can see the transit directions. Uh, they currently only work in some locations. San Francisco is one of them. They currently don't work in Los Angeles. They will soon, uh, just not now. So while Siri has always been able to solve math equations and make quick conversions, it now does it natively, so it doesn't use Wolfram Alpha. So let me ask it a problem. 273 times 400. You can see that it appears here, and it doesn't appear in a window that says Wolfram Alpha. And because it's native now, it's actually a few seconds faster, so I tried it out side by side with a phone running iOS 8, and yeah, it's faster. Same thing for conversions. Convert $386,423 into yen. And you can see how quick that was. And finally, we have the Find Friends app which you have always been able to download from the App Store, but is now forced on you. So if you use the app, you can actually ask Siri to find someone. So let's say you're connected with someone in Find Friends, you can just ask where they are. Where is Bobby? And you can see the location, and if I tap on it, I'll be taken to the app. All right, well that's it, thanks guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadgex. All right, thanks guys.